the Egyptian hold sacred and and will not permit to be slain and those which we are accustomed to sacrifice to the Lord our God. If we did this before the eyes of the Egyptian, would they not stone us? Would they not do what, uh, Levant? Stone us. So what was, let me, let me show something. I'm, I'm about to, to end another gear. Then I'll bring my covenant brother. Then I come back to another gear. I'm telling you, within 30 minutes from now, something is going to happen. So what was Moses trying to tell Pharaoh? Hmm? What was Moses trying to tell Pharaoh? Huh? You cannot do what? Uh -huh. Are you reading your Bible or your neighbor's Bible? What was Moses right to tell Pharaoh? It is not suitable. It is not what? Suitable. Uh -huh. Yes. Sir. NIV, the Bible says. Uh -huh. But Moses said, uh -huh. that will not be right. Uh -huh. The sacrifice we offer to the Lord, our God, uh -huh. would be detestable to the Egyptian. And if we offer sacrifices that are detestable in their eyes, will they not stone us? Now, listen to me. Number one, what the spirit of Pharaoh does in your life to hinder your breakthrough, it blocks you from sacrificing to a true God. It will make you... When you hear, when, when you know that, like this Sunday in Bungoma, we're doing Thanksgiving. <laughs> You know, that's the day you say, hey, thanks, what? Nasikia tumbo, mama wewe enda, mimi enda baki. Nasikia na naendesha, nasikia the spirit of Pharaoh. The spirit of Pharaoh will make you not to sacrifice to the rightful God and altar. Let me show something. Matthew 6, 24. Quick one. Glory to God. La soko to lo shafri de ketila. Matthew six twenty four. If you are there, please leave it read for us. The Bible says, mm -hmm. NIV. Mm. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, mm. or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Mama. Wonderful. This version said money. Now version says mama. When the spirit of Pharaoh enters your life, you serve two masters. Two masters. That's why you find the people in ECG. I receive in Kinjangitile Gwale Limited Company and Fraternity Church International. Amen. Amen. You see another church from Busia. <laughs> Ministries. Amen, Papa Professor. You serve God and Mammon. Mm. As I always say, <laughs> me and my brother here, Apostle Francis, even if you bring in this city the greater of the greater of greatest men of God. You will never see us kneeling down. Me going to kneel down and somebody pray for me. Me. Jesus. <laughs> me. The other day we went for a certain meeting. I don't want to say which one. I was your post. <laughs> and the man of God said, Everybody bring your seed. You know, empty your empesa. So I was sitting next to a post. I said, Apost. We want to scare you. I said, Magic. I was saying, Baba, my empesa to be emptied here. It's an error. <laughs> I said, you are the spirit, sir. <laughs> Mine, yeah. yeah no empty. So I said, okay. Let's, how much can you give? He said, 2,000. I said, mm, okay. Let's do two, two. So let's go. So when we went, I said, please, don't kneel down. I said, don't kneel. She said, don't kneel down. <laughs> I was looking at him. I said, ah, Papa. No, everybody's kneeling. I said, don't kneel down. Yeah. <laughs> of the spirit. So we stood. Oh, the only two of us standing. Everybody in the church. You know the way they honor that guest. They're on the floor. We're just standing like this. One of our friends. Some man of God. One of our friends. 
came and began, a bishop came and began to pull apostles' trousers. He came and kneeled quickly and he was pulling, pulling apostles' trousers to go down. Apostle was pulling mine. I was doing this. How can I kneel down for a man to lay hand on me? Are, are you no more? Do you know the grace I carry on my head? Listen, and that's why some of you, as 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 believers, people will think you are arrogant. You're not arrogant. Understand scriptures. Yes, you're right. Understand scriptures. Yes, sir. You are talking. I told Apostle Hure Masandu Kumara na na asara sawa na Hure Masawa na. And we were on the cameras. We stood, my brother. Yes, we stood. Even the man of God looked at us, and I think quickly captured the revelation. You know these guys are principalities. Yes. Generals can't kneel down to be prayed for. Never. Where? No. What? What are you? Who are you? Ah. Uh. You can't serve two masters. Never. If you know the source of your blessing, uh. sacrifice. Mm. Sacrifice. Hmm. Eh, kila pita, kila mtu ni papa, papa, mama, papa. Eh, who are we? I'm from how many women? Papa. Mama, Papa, Mama. Never. <laughs> Even on the Facebook, Papa Professor. <laughs> do you know that Papa on Facebook? You, you, do you know Papa on Facebook? Uh uh. And the Bible says you cannot serve God and Mama. Come on. Mm. You can't serve God and love pleasure. You can't. Never. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Listen to me, sons and daughters of Major One. If you want the spirit of Pharaoh to go away from you quickly, sacrifice oh, yes. to the rightful order. That's right. I saw people sending money. You know these people who preach on Facebook. Mm. I said, send money. 320, 210, 110, 610, 10, 10, 10. I don't know if it's kumi kumi or what is it. Ten, ten, ten. You know, you know the way me, me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a spiritual monitoring spirit. <laughs> okay. I am a prophetic surveillance. I see in the spirit, so I'm able even to see you giving on the screen. Uh -huh. One of my daughters, I'm not mentioning. I saw her giving on the screen. I said, "Am I?" I will not mention Jim. I not mention. <laughs> She's delivered. I said. I said, am I seeing clear? I woke up from the vision. When I woke up, I saw it clear now. I saw even the number that she's sending money. I counted the number. I said, this number, you know me now. Four numbers is not my problem. Hmm. Jesus. I saw the number. I called that girl. I didn't have her number. She was adult in this house, and she's adult in this house. I just knew. She's not picking, picking. I hold my phone like this. I began to dial the number. What I'm seeing in this in the spirit, zero seven ten ten people. And I call direct. It is her. Hello, Papa. I say, hello. So you have my number. I say, why? Why are you sending money? I say, ah, which one? Of, I say, eh, you, which money? Why are you sending six hundred and twenty? What's the problem with you? And in the church, you have not given an, even an offering. And the other day, you had the asthma, and I prayed for you, and the asthma went away. <laughs> Fire. You can't serve if you want the spirit of Pharaoh to bring you down. Be confused. Hmm. Be You're confused. Talking. You're talking, sir. Hmm. Yeah. Well, when you get a I just know that I'm being fought with the spirit of Pharaoh. Anything good else. If you're a woman, any man you see in a trouser, you, you're just shaking. Thank you. If this one was my boyfriend, eh? Jesus, look at his pocket. Some of these men that wallet is carrying business cards, though, they're no money. Oh, yes. <laughs> Receipts. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, after tonight, after tonight, don't serve God and mammon. Don't serve God and mammon. Now, on the same, on the issue of how spirit of Pharaoh can attack your breakthrough by making you not know, to sacrifice the right for altar, you must understand that for you to defeat the spirit of Pharaoh quickly because of time, you must be in a position not to sin. 
Mhm. Ndio anebaza tu ana. Hapo nikienda hapo najua imeni inapungua lakini hulisa pa moja. Hulisa pa moja. <laughs> Wanaazimia na Kenya kwanza tukote pamoja sasa hii. We in one government. Yeah. Eh, so hulisa pa moja. If you sin, you give a legal ground for spirit of error to enter your life. So don't sin. Let me give you number two. If I welcome my brother to come. Sabo shout up for amen. Amen. Exodus chapter number 8 verses number 28. Mhm. 828. Maso prakado sha fride ketila. Hu shaya mala. Read me 28. Man of God. <laughs> Exodus 28 28. Mm. Mm, oh. 828 shall sure. Pharaoh say mm. I will let you go mm. to offer sacrifices to the Lord you are God in the wilderness but you must not go very far mm. now pray for me Did you hear that mm. And Pharaoh said what I will let you go then he attached a condition Do not go what? Eh? Mm. Pharaoh said, I will let you go. Yes. <laughs> to offer sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness, but you must not go very far. Now, pray for me. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> you see the way we can make. Now, number two, the spirit of Pharaoh will not allow you to go far. The spirit of Pharaoh will always make you to be that's why you rotate at the same place. Uh-huh. Anything you do you are at the same place. The spirit of Pharaoh will put limitation. Oh yes. He said we allow you to go and sacrifice but you will not go very far. Spirit of Pharaoh can it make you to be Do you have somebody who say man of God me I've rotated in one place long enough. For long. I have suffered long enough. Tonight as I put my hand on this altar oh, yes. I declare you are delivered in the name of Jesus I said declare you are delivered in the name of Jesus I re- shout her receive I receive You will not go far That's why some of you get married After two years you are out of your marriage You marry again Two months you are out you marry again Even if you enter a relationship you divorce Even now in the realm of the spirit when we scan you better better We see you married to 14 men and you are single. So you go before God, God made you and give me a husband. He said which one among the 14? Could you I pick the Asian or the Kikuyu one or Luya or Sabot? Which one? Because you have been entangled in different relationships. The spirit of Pharaoh will not allow you to go far. From today you are delivered. May anything you do after tonight May you succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout her received. Let me give you the last one here. In the book of Exodus chapter number 10 verses 11. Give me verses 11. Glory to God. Mado sharabadusha. Mhm. Shika kadushi kadaba. If you are there please just read for us. 10 verse 11 NIV mm. No have only the men go and worship the Lord mm. since that's what you have been asking for then Moses and Aaron were driven out of Pharaoh's presence mm-hmm. Read again uh, son No have only the men go and worship the Lord mm. since that's what you have been asking for Then Moses and Aaron were driven out of Pharaoh's presence. Now, another thing that the spirit of Pharaoh does, it divides families. Mhm. Spirit of Pharaoh will divide families. I told you I want to show you another face of Pharaoh as a devil. Mhm. He divides families. He say, "I now allow you to go, but he allows only men." Mhm. Where are the wives? Where are the children? It's only men you go so the spirit of pharaoh will bring division in the family are you here with me 
Stand on your feet just for one minute. Lift your hand. Kasura patusha. Say, my father, my father. Every spirit of Pharaoh fighting my life. As a club has a prey, I command you to scatter by fire. I command you to scatter by fire. Command you to scatter for one minute in the name of Jesus Christ. Pekuda hadia makida handu. The suda hadima kida hade kida. Lipado kodia makida hande. Zapado siya makida hando suda. Le pedo si padia kakukia. Suya kakuki makida handia. Lipado ni makida hande. Si pado siya makida hando suda. Makado se pedia makida. Le pedo siya makida lande. Lipado siya makida. Lipado ne kadia makuda hando. Masupa da hadia. Lakude hedia makida lande. Se Sia makida, si pado si makida lande, rakado si pada, metero si ma, ripado si makida lande, lakuda hadia makida lande, sa pada kia makida, loko da suda, peluka dia makida lande kira, rasupa dia makida lande, si pada kia makida, sopo di ma. Lihande bradi amande kezi apala handa, ye bradi kaza hala hala. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. As you are standing like that, the same scripture, verses number 24. Verses number 24. Glory to God. <laughs> Tonight we must squeeze the spirit of Pharaoh. You must be set free. You must conquer. You must take over in Jesus' name. Verses number 24. 24. 24. And Pharaoh mm. called to Moses mm. and said, Go! Serve the Lord. Mm. Let your little one also go with you. Mm -hmm. It is only your flocks and your herds that must not go. Did you hear that? So the spirit of Pharaoh hinders breakthrough. Mm. When the spirit of Pharaoh has entered your life, mm. you can't prosper. The Bible says, I will allow all of you you go, but only what will remain. But only what? Leave, leave. So read what you're reading here on the screen. But only what? Your, your flocks, flocks and what? And your hearts. hearts. Flocks and hearts are inheritance. Mm. They are possessions. So the spirit of Pharaoh can release you to think you're making it. But in, in the truth is, the spirit of Pharaoh is squeezing your wealth. Who says, man of God, tonight... The spirit of Pharaoh my, must release my wealth. Here I am, here I am, I'm here, I'm here. For 30 Son seconds, I want you to pray that God of Major One, oh, yes. may every spirit of Pharaoh oh, yes. release my breakthrough now. In the, in name, the name, of name of Jesus, lift your voice, say, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of Pharaoh, every spirit of Pharaoh holding my wealth, holding my life, and my breakthrough, my breakthrough. release it right now. Release it right in now. the name of Jesus, in the name of clap Jesus. your for 10 seconds and declare la kodia makida lande bida lande zika dosia makida hando suda ripida hadokuda handi la kude hedia makida zepe makida lando maka dosia makida lande repe dosi padande rakudia makuda hande ripamosia makida hando mande kedeke zika yokuda hande rakuda hadia makida rapuda hande kida zopoda kia makida in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Now quickly we want to just lift one prayer. Then I will, my assignment tonight is just very short. I want to show you something. Then we are going to, I'll bring the prophet of God. Amen. Amen. Now quickly, if you have your, the Bible, give me, the second Samuel chapter number 21 verse number 17 I think I'll pick it from there second Samuel chapter number 21 verse 17 if you can get it then we will pray one prayer there and we will be seated now. the Bible says you can read it sir. but Abishai son of Zeruiah came to David's rescue but he, Abishai son of Zeru came to 
David's rescue. Uh-huh. He, he struck the Philistine down and killed him. Uh-huh. The David's men swore to him saying, then David's men swore to David, swore to him. The word him there, it is to David. So the David's men swore to David saying, ah, uh-huh. never again will you go out with us to battle. Never again will you go out with us to battle so that the lamp of Israel will, will not, not be, be extinguished. extinguished. You will never go to war with us. Okay. The reason is this. We want to protect you so that the light, the light of Israel shall not be extinguished. Okay. It shall not be bl- put out. It shall not be put off. Listen to me. Oh Many of you that are seated here, you may be a nobody now, oh, yes. but in the realms of the spirit, oh, yes. you are the lamp of hey, your family. Hey, hey, hey. Am I talking to you? you are talking. In the realms of the spirit, you are the lamb of your family. You are going to pray one prayer. That my father, my father, as I pray now, let not my lamb be extinguished. Are we together? Oh, yes. Are we together? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I pray now. As I pray now. Let not my lamb be extinguished. Let not my lamb be extinguished. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear you pray like a thunder. They say. Le cosa bra le zobrighe di a bazopre la sopia hantuske bea la rosco bia zobrivie le sebra ala rosco bia tanamala re la che brosso vibro hoso a che sobri hantaneske bia le rosco bia santo lolosa e che lenso e che lenso bra hantola re che sobia piara ne zelem talosca ja tada e che sobrighe la rosco bia telem la rosco ya sabra hanta lembro ecleso from fibie dioso calante resquebra sebra hanta la le rosso bi hanta le sbaturska in the name of jesus christ you pray amen you can be seated for just a while i'm only going to take some few minutes and i'll bring the man of god amen now from the scriptures that we have read i want us to begin from there listen to me any time god want to deliver a people any time god want to deliver a nation he has to send a man if you want to receive your deliverance you will never see anything coming to your way it is only a man that is anointed to deliver you in the area of your problem listen to me your suffering is not my suffering you are pain is not my pain whatever you are passing through is not what i'm passing through every one of us we have our own challenges we have different assignments and we have different battles that we, we, we fight therefore the man that is sent on your way is the man that god has ordained to deliver you am i talking to you in ECG Bungoma yes, and ECG as a country uh-huh. God has raised a man that, 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 that the prophet of God that uh-huh. Papa uh, Abshir, prophet Abshir, has anointed, has ordained that he may be the voice of God in oh, yeah. the land uh-huh. that he may speak on behalf of God uh-huh. Sir, who is a prophet a oh. prophet is a man that speaks on behalf of oh, God, God. <laughs> uh-huh. am I talking to you? Uh, yes uh-huh. A prophet is a man that interprets the mind of God to his people. Therefore, we have a man. And if the voice of the Lord has told him that this night he's going to deal with the spirit of Pharaoh, I can assure you that after tonight, you will never battle that battle again. Never. I can assure that after tonight, the battle you are fighting, it ends by fire. Uh Are you shouting amen or you are shouting man? Amen. Uh, now listen to me. Yes, sir. And that's why you cannot supposed to quench the lamb. <laughs> the man that is anointed, most of the times people may not identify him, identify him because he's a man full of battles. I hear you. The Bible speaker can say that when Moses was born, the decree came from Pharaoh that every male child that yes. was born was supposed to be killed that time. Yes. When Jesus Christ was born, the Bible speaker said, and Herod gave a decree that every male child was supposed to be born. Now listen to me. Moses was a deliverer and Jesus Christ was a deliverer. But the time 
time of their delivery, when they were born, there was a battle, there was a condition that they were all to be slain. But the Bible speakers say, and God saved them. That's why when I, we read that, that scripture, the Bible says that the lamb, the lamb of Israel should not be put out. Now you need to protect the man that God has ordained for your deliverance. Come on. You're speaking apostle. You need to protect the man that God has put in the place for your deliverance. Listen to me. As anointed as Jesus is. The name Jesus Christ means Jesus the anointed one. Why? They call him Jesus the Messiah. The Messiah means he is the anointed one. But though he was anointed he needed a man yes. Oh, yes. to baptize him. You're speaking. Jesus about. never baptized himself. Never. He went to Jordan but he waited for a man to baptize him. Oh yes. Any time God wants to take you to another level, he must bring a prophet, uh. a man that will speak words in your spirit. Uh -huh. And I decree to your life yes, that because apostle. of this action of this altar, because of the spirit of God in this altar, yes, because of the, uh, the spirit of pro prophet Bushiri, yes. I declare, declare uh. any battle in your life, uh -huh. it dies by fire. Fire. 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 Now quickly, let me show you what does what the spirit of Pharaoh does are we together yes. what the spirit of Pharaoh does number one the spirit of Pharaoh limits your speed uh -huh. it limits your motion if you are battling with the spirit of Pharaoh you cannot move faster the spirit of Pharaoh will put you in a place that's called Mount Seir. A place that you will move there. You will never, you, you will stagnate in the same place for a long time. Oh, yes. And in this present generation, many people are suffering from the spirit of Pharaoh. What is the spirit of Pharaoh? The spirit of Pharaoh is the spirit of Egypt, is the spirit of idols, is the spirit of witchcraft, is the spirit of manipulation. Many people are manipulated today why because the spirit of Pharaoh is operating <laughs> I hear ah uh, quickly maybe let me give you two or three scriptures now you need to follow me why should you follow me I'm going to tell you the reason why you will be blessed in this service amen amen the Bible speaker says in Psalm 119 verse number 130 that the the, 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 the the word of the Lord brings light yes number one number two it brings understanding to the symbol the word symbol there means the people that are their minds are open to understand and they hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you need to follow me quickly and closely because I am an apostle. <laughs> yes. I know how to, to tell people the right things. What I'm about to tell you here, maybe a senior will not tell you because he's a prophet. He will see things on your behalf. I will tell things <laughs> on his behalf. Amen. Amen. Are we together here? I hear you. Now sir. give me Isaiah 19, verse 1 to 3. Maybe I will begin from there. Then we will pray. I will show you what you are supposed to do for you to be delivered from the spirit of Pharaoh. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay, you can read it for me. Isaiah 19, verse 1 to 3, quickly. Oh, Jesus. A prophecy against Egypt. See. The Lord rides on a swift cloud and is coming to Egypt. The idols of Egypt tremble before him. So number one, when we are dealing with the spirit of Pharaoh, we are dealing with the spirit of idols. People who go and seek things on demonic altars. Amen. So the idols of Egypt tremble before him and the hearts of the Egyptians melt with fear. Number two, I will start up Egyptian against Egyptian. Brother will fight against brother. Neighbor against neighbor. City against city. Kingdom against kingdom. Number three. Carlos Kabaya Tarabaso. The Egyptians will lose heart. The Egyptians will lose heart. They will faint. They will fear. And I will bring their plans to, to nothing. nothing. They will console the idols and the spirits of the dead. 
the mediums and the spirits. So you understand from there that they will consult idols. They will contest the spirit of the dead. They will consult mediums. They will consult spirits. In other words, they will go to the charmers. They will go to witch doctors. So the spirit of Pharaoh, number one, is the spirit of witchcraft. Many people today, you may, you may say there is no witchcraft, but the witchcraft of today is called modern witchcraft. The Pharaoh of today, is the pharaoh that has knowledge in the computer. Amen. Is a pharaoh that the people can astro project. They don't need to call you from the mirror. They can enter your room while you are sleeping. <laughs> they, you, they don't need they don't need your picture. Mm -mm. They don't need your clothes. Mm -mm. If somebody told you you are in a band, God lost his line. Because the present, the present witch, witchcraft, it is murderous witchcraft. People fly to your house. They will fly to your bed. They will, they, they will enter in your business arena. Mm. They will come in your offices. Them to this witchcraft, it is an advanced kind of witchcraft. As the spirituality is advanced, also witchcraft is as learned. Now listen to me. The spirit of Pharaoh is the spirit of witchcraft. Many of you today, you are suffering and you don't know why you are suffering. It is because there is a limit in the spirit. And what is this, this limit? It is the power of witchcraft operating in your life. That's why the Bible says, I will put the Egyptians against themselves. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. If God has spoken to his prophet and he has said that deal with the spirit of Pharaoh, what God is saying is this, that I have sent the man of God to decree in your spirit that anything holding your life after the decree, it must come out by fire. 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 Hallelujah. The spirit of Pharaoh will is the spirit that holds you for a long time. It's a spirit of delay. The Bible speaker say, and God told Abraham that your children they will be in a foreign land for four hundred years. But when you read your Bible, they were hold. They were they, they, the Israel were hold in Egypt for four hundred and thirty years, sir. Thirty years more. The thirty years is not the thirty days. Thirty years is not thirty weeks. Thirty years is not thirty, 30 three, three days. 30 years is a long period. 30 years is a long period that can make a child a woman. It can make a young boy a man. 30 years is not a small period. It can turn the life of somebody. But the Bible said they were hold in Egypt for 30 years. Listen to me. The prophetic word was for 400 years. But they stayed in Egypt for 430. Why? Because the spirit of Pharaoh was holding them down. Uh, when you read your Bible, you will understand something. You can just write it. It's in the book of Exodus 7. 14. <laughs> 14. And 15. The Bible says, And the Lord spoke to Moses. He told Moses, You will go and meet Pharaoh before he goes to the river. You will wake up early in the morning. Go and meet Pharaoh before he goes to the river. Why? Because Pharaoh knew how to invoke the powers of the river, the marine spirits. Am I talking to somebody? The Pharaoh knew how to invoke marine spirits. And the Bible speaker said that he told him, go before he arrives at the river. That's why I want to tell you this. You, at times you don't know the battles that your pastor fights. Many people see the pastor walking to in the morning. Many people will want to see the pastor during the day. Many people will want to see the pastor in the, in the midweek. But you don't know kind, the kinds of battles he wrestled with. The Bible speaker say, God told Moses, he has not decided to let my people go. But listen to me. Before Pharaoh goes to the river, go and meet him early in the morning. Do you know what was the time? It was around 3 p.m. It was at, at around 3 p.m. That was the time that Pharaoh was doing his operations to hold the children of Israel for a very long time. And God told Moses, if you want to win this battle, you must count up Pharaoh before he reaches at the river. Because Pharaoh used to invoke powers in the river Nile. So the man of God had to go there in the morning. These were the things that, that Moses did behind the Israelites. 
sir, do you know what your pastor do for you to be delivered? Do you know what he does for you to receive your miracle? Do you know what your pastor does for you to celebrate during a Sunday service? Do you know what your pastor does for you to enter your marital life? Do you know what your pastor does for you to settle down? Listen to me. A pastor is a man that stands between the dead and the living. Ha. Am I talking to you? A pastor, when you see a man of God, you not only need to honor him, you need to revere him, you need to understand him, and you need to help him in order for him to help you. Listen to me, you need to help the ministry that helps you. You need to minister to the ministry that ministers to you. You what? These are the keys for you to come out of the spirit of Pharaoh. You want to come out of the spirit of Pharaoh, you, have, you must have an understanding of whom your pastor is, of whom your man of God is, is your prophet, is a man that stands between the living and the dead. The Bible we can say in the book of Numbers 16, 48, and the Bible says, and Aaron took the censer and went and stood between the living and the dead. That's the work of your pastor, your priest. So when you want to come out of the spirit of Pharaoh, you not only need to pray. I, I at times meet many Christians. They know how to pray, but they don't know how to follow the principles that can deliver them quickly. I'm not saying this because I'm not a prayer warrior. I am one of the prayer warriors in this city. <laughs> that one I know. So I'm going to give you keys. I'm about to finish. Keys that can make you to be delivered from the spirit of Pharaoh. Number one, you must understand and acknowledge your priest. I'm going to tell there. You must understand and acknowledge your priest. Listen to me. Even if Moses do not know how to speak, but God will will use him as God, not as a prophet. It is it is it is Aaron that knew had an eloquence in speaking. But God told Moses, "You go. I am sending somebody there to be your mouth. But when he reaches there, he shall not be God. He shall only become your mouth. He shall be a prophet to you, but he shall not be a God. But when you go to Pharaoh, you Moses, you that do not know how to talk, you a stammerer. You are the one that you shall be a God." God to Pharaoh. In other words, when powers will want to meet powers, Aaron will not fight this battle. I will put you at the front line. You are the set man. When the battle is hot, Aaron will not go to the front line. It is, it is you, Moses, that will go to the front line. You will first stay the Pharaoh. I, you will see Pharaoh eyeball to eyeball. You will meet him mundo to mundo. You will meet him man to man. It is not Aaron that will meet Pharaoh. It is Moses says that we'll meet Pharaoh. Ah. Am I talking to you? <laughs> so you must understand and acknowledge your priest. Why? Because he's the man that encounters the altars of your family. <laughs> Listen to me. An altar will only break. It is only altars that fight altars. Am I talking to you? It is a principality that can address another principality. If you are not a principality, with this your prayers, don't go to a coven. Don't, don't make that mistake. If you are not a principality, stay at home, stay at home. Balance things in your house. Cook some ugali. spiritual gymnastics. You feel like you are there. <laughs> There were four guys that went at a place called Bukembe some years back. And do you know during uh, circumcision, there are places that are altars. And uh, men, the, the people, the, 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 the king men, ought to go there. So, and Amuima. So these guys went there and they had come out of college. And because in the college, when you're reading the Bible, there's a place the Bible says, and, uh, and uh, the, the, the apostles uh, in the book of Acts, they says, and the, the men that have turned the world upside down have also come here. 
You are, have you got it that part? That the men that have turned the world upside down have also come here. So the guy wrote right that place and they say we are going to turn the world upside down. So they went there on a wrong altar because they have come out of college. They thought by, by, by reading the Bible is catching the anointing. There is a difference between and as, and having a memory in your you, you, you have mastered the scriptures and you have carried the anointing. There is a difference. There's a difference between <laughs> memorizing scriptures and catching a true anointing. There's a difference between operating in the spiritual level and, uh, and having a, just a mere knowledge of the scripture. You can go to the scripture, I know. Oh my God, the Bible speakers say every weapon, oh, Isaiah 54 verse number 17, and no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper, and any tongue that raised against me in judgment shall be condemned, for this is the vindication and the heritage of the children of God. Oh my God, the Psalms, Isaiah 54 verse number 13. My children shall be taught by the Lord. Oh, Isaiah 50. And God has given me the tongue of the... That's no sense. If you don't carry the anointing, it's no sense. <laughs> Can I teach you sign? Can I teach you sign? So you need to understand. You need to know the man that has the anointing. The man that has the mantle. The older that has fight your, your life. The older that is fighting you. To eat has defeated you. You cannot break it. You need a man that is also an altar to meet another altar. Ah. <laughs> you need an altar to encounter an altar. You need a principality to encounter a principality. <laughs> Am I talking to you? Now listen to me. There are things that you cannot do on your own. At times, if you have a good relationship with your father, there are some battles that you will never fight. Ha. You just carry your, 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 what you need to do, you don't need to go. There are some things that you go to fast and it's an error. You don't need to go to fast. Go and meet your spiritual father. After that, give him a seed. Then go in your home, go make a good ugali and sleep. Listen to me, hallelujah. <laughs> Listen, it is, it is, the Bible speaker say in the book of Isaiah 5, verse number 13, that my people have been taken to captivity because they lack knowledge. It's not that you don't know, you somehow have an understanding, you somehow have an idea, but you really don't know the way. Listen to me, you can know the name because you are living in Kenya, you know that the capital city of Kenya is Nairobi. It is a name that is in your idea, is in your mind. But listen to me, you have never been to Nairobi. There are many places that you know and you have never been there. Is it true? Is it true? I know you know Mandela, Mandela. There are some of you, you know Waji. Have you ever been to Waji? You don't know. You, 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 you know Lokchar. Have you ever been there? You know man, you, you, you know Katabet. You, you know Loi Tok Tok. You know Maua. You, you know Isiolo. You know every, this place, you have them in your memory. But do you know the place you don't know? Why? It's because you are a Kenyan. Listen to me. By the knowledge that you know, you have an idea. Does not mean that you know it. <laughs> That's why you need to understand number who is your prophet and you need to follow your prophet. That's number two. You know you follow. Mm. You follow my Oronda Hosa. Uh-huh. See, see my best kumoja. Kunamutu. Kunamutu I can pick your simu si kunazam. Mm. Mm. Because hello, Baba. Hello, Pastor. My shit at Mingi Nangala Simu. I don't know Zingis Nangala Jin. In Nani, at the Zimji. When Nani, in a go down, go in Emily. Ugo Kundigani Zidwe. Sama Oken Town Balala. Like you're going to get up in my friend. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I tell you? No 
out all phone calls that you channel to your pastor, we pray for them. That's our secret now. Uh-huh. There are some phone, there are some phone calls we don't pray for them. See, that's we don't pray for them because they don't carry value. Uh-huh. They, don't, they don't carry value. They go, ah. they don't you don't know how to follow. You don't know how to follow. You don't know how to honor the anointing. You don't even honor the anointing. Why must the anointing work for you? Listen to me, you are a witch. If you don't honor the anointing and you follow it, you are a witch. Look at the neighbor and say, you are. You, 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 you. Look at the neighbor. Ah. You are bewitched in capital letters. A witch. If you follow a man of God and you don't honor it. Kuna makanza mingi. Kuna roo fwenye, kuna roo mesalaba, kuna no miya church. Kuna Jesus. <laughs> Kuna kuna mungira ndoaga Yesu wa watongare ni akutoa pachu kuna kuna kanisa yao jamaa na itwa ana itwa Johanna wanandolia ana toka toa pavi ana ndiga Biblia ya kitabu sana tatu e, kama mufarisa yao <laughs> unaweza ndo kuku kuna kuna Reju Maria mai kuna Rufeni e? kuna 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 dini na itwa yawa le hule ba le hule au vai wewe ndani wanadu wa le hule unaweza ndo kuku kuna ba haifa Kuna bahai faith. Bahai faith. Bahai faith baba. Yo, siku ya ubatizo mzungu anatoka America. Anakuja na kuguza kitu anakuja, "Oh my God, I want to be baptized." Say, "Yes, oh God, what's your name?" I'm Bridget. Oh. I said, "You are baptized, you need that. You can go there." Ngali ya wacha baba. Angalia mtu simama kwa dakika moja ambia mtu utokoka 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 Eh <laughs> utokoka hey, Now listen ma This you want to be delivered now deliverance is a process and it needs principles This is what we call the covenant practice covenant practice covenant you need to to covenant yourself with the altar and you covenant yourself with your father and you do them consistently so now go rose boy una fikira leo ni pego baba pesa ngapi yani mtu biego 500 ndio anasema nini na ukinitumia wa mimi waseme asante personal mimi if you if you send me money na mimi ningi round amekusumbua wewe nitumie pesa kama roja ongea So yes, 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 expect ni kwambie, "Okay, mna baba." Bro, ni wewe wa kawaida unitumie pesa ngumu bwana, ngumu. Ngumu bwana. Mtu ni mwenye nywele nyeusi, akutuma pesa ngumu. Ngoma. Kurudisha ndio mchongoma bwana. Sasa kiza ni kwambie, "If you you send me money, my members know I don't appreciate because it's your duty." for you to send something to me now it is your duty for you to send something to your man of god and kuna magariza tuna watu wanataka kuombolewa watu na wagonjwa 80% of every church kuna wagonjwa ndani wagonjwa ni wagonjwa sio wa mwili mimi ni mwai soma shule nikagundua wanafunzi wengi licha ya kwamba tuko kwenye maeneo ya shule tunatafuta akili lakini wanafunzi wengi kichwa yao sio mzuri Eh, nilienda shule baba nikikuwa primary na watolea proof evidence ya kuonesha kwamba percentage ya mtu anaanza kuwa standard 7 lakini standard yake sio ya 7 class yake ndio 7 lakini standard yake ni ya 1 <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> baba <laughs> nilikuwa shuleni primary school nikaenda kwa choo ya wanaume nikaenda kwa chuo kwanza kujisaidia kumaliza kuangalia choo watu vijana wakuje na tissue paper choo ndio tissue paper wanaenda juu juu nikasema watu wamenda zimu ama wachango na roga ika nikaenda high school nikasema pengine primary nilikuwa navaa kinyasa high school watu wanavaa longi mawazo yao ni tofauti kufika high school tena kwenda kwa choo same same problem wajamaa wanamaliza watengeneza kokuta nikasema no 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 nikaenda college elder polytechnic nilipoenda nikaona hii ni choo maana mimi nimetoka safu choo yangu ni ya shimu sijaiona ya kukalia 
Naingia college nikashangaa tena ni gani lakini kuangalia jo ukuta same nikasema ah hata watu wa college bado sio unaweza kuwa uko college lakini akili yako <laughs> listen to me the fact that you are in church does not mean that there is a church is in you the fact that you are the, you are in church it doesn't simplify that you are the church of Christ that you are the temple of Christ you have some message what do you do what do you need to know for you to be delivered it is number one you need to understand the covenant practices unajua kwa kanisa langu na msichana mmoja sijai awambia hata sijai nua airtime na sijai ambia mtu sijui nani alimpa hiyo mzigo kunilia airtime airtime yangu anaisotingi mwezi kianzo sijai ambia mkristo sasa huyo nani alimwambia si ni roho ana ana understand that every man is a covenant practice kuna mwingine kuna mnyana shughulikanga tu mambo ya pesa nisikose pesa now listen to me wacha ujinga kwamba sina pesa nje ni ngumu mtu mtu maskini maskini aendi mbali if if you want to come out of poverty you must decide to do things that are beyond your your capacity and you must value the altar bring your things bring your pipe and your tithe you don't bring it you pay it you pay my orunga ni deli kwa Mungu then na runga na runga fungu mwambie mtu na runga fungu you do that you will listen to me i did thanksgiving service last last sunday and when i did thanksgiving service every member was coming to bring their things i gave them envelopes and i told them when you're going to you are coming to thank god you are coming to say baba i have you have kept me for the whole year i've come just to say thank you because if you thank god for his finger you will see his hand And when you thank God for his hand, you will see his two hands. When you thank God for his two hands, you will see his two hands and with his two legs. Sasa umekuja kushukuru Mungu mwaka yote. Unibebe kuku inafanya miau miau miau. Kuku ikifaranga is you gonna hold my metoke wa pesa Mungu. Uima. Mwaka yote aliamua bebe kifaranga. say and people gave according to how they were blessed yes, yes. eh mama ni hasara na ni vibaya sana ndovu kukunya mafia paka hasara <laughs> baba ni hasara ndovu kukunya mafia wasoni wanasema anaepishana na ndovu kunya anapasuka msamba maana yake ni hii maana ndovu ikichapa mmoja inatoshana na watu watatu hapa mmoja tu inachapa kitu kama hii So ukipishana hii ni kana kwa ni sawa sawa mwenyewe uko natembea hivi. Unaenda njia mbili. Utapasuka msamba. Now. Ni dambi. Ni kasoro. Ni vibaya. Mtu wa Mungu. Ni vibaya. Ukwe una uwezo wa ndofu. Kwa sababu wenzako ni maskini maskini kanisani unafanya kitu kama hao. Sema baza na kia sema tunataka 1100 pia ndovu hapo ndani <laughs> anabeba 1100 acha mungu jiji watu wangu baba <laughs> jesus baba <laughs> ndovu hapo ndani anakuja na joya ah wamesema 1100 akili kwa mimi mimi sitoshana na huyo mwingine mama mboga tu 1100 ya mtu mwenye unafanya unakula mwezi mmoja tu 1000 moja na unakuja hapo kwa mambo ya kulia unalia kutushinda hakuna hakuna hapo deliverance inakuwa ngumu now these are the covenant practices that you need to do you need to know and do them the bible speaker say I do not only be the listeners of the word but be the doers doers of the word so most of the christians today they are the listeners of the word baba huyo la injili mmanyile ndio ikisonga sana unaanguka sana yeah ukisema yeah unasema yeah ukisema uone unaanguka chini 
but the results now listen to me as I wonder these are the things that have opened my life personally I'm not teaching you out of gimmicks I'm teaching you from my personal experience people know me prof and anijua kama kuna mtu anajua nilitembea kwa miguu kama niko na viatu naitwa puta pumps ngoja kwa ofisi yangu utaipata mai kama mimi naweza nika nikavaa leo kama naweza nikakula leo kuna Mungu mbingu imambo si usomi usomi haiko kwa imambo Usomi haiko imambo imambo si niambia pastor unajua si kusoma ningesoma ko tu ningefika but wewe acha na hiyo mambo ndio maana umeka hivyo usomi haiko kwa imambo imambo iko kwa ujinga wa rohoni kwa maana mambo ya msalaba kwa wao wasiamini ni upusi kwa wale waamini wa ni nguvu za Mungu zinazoleta uzima that's the condition so you believe in the word you break out you stop believing in the word you listen to the word you will become a listener of the word but we want the doers of the word why because they are the doers of the word that are transformed not the listeners there are many listeners but there are few doers of the word when you look uh, when you you study the lives of the doers of the word they have broken out but when you see the listeners of the word they will fill the church excuse me kwambie nawaambia nikijua mai marango ya kwanza kanisa nilikuwa nimefanyia mahali pale kwa uwanja kwa misiko baba nilikuja siku moja asubuhi mjamaa amefunga kofuli mbili lakini kwa nalipanga sijui pia vijana ni waste kwa baba sasa ndo alipo anakula so nikakuja asubuhi nikapata wamefunga kofuli mbili na mai kanisa yetu ilikuambia tuchange 1000 watu wanachanga paka mna wanalia machozi mtu anachanga tu na vijana 50 50 50 50 5000 na damu change paka jioni nikapata kofuli ngapi nika nikasema Mungu wangu hii hi mambo hii ni namna gani wa Kristo akifika hapa saa moja watasema namna gani so nikaomba Mungu mwambie emergency prayer mfalme mfalme usiaibishe mtu mishi wako nikawaachia hapo nika mtu mwingine akanipigia simu akanambia pastor unanikumbuka nikamwambia sikukumbuki akaniambia unakumbuka kuna mako niliombea nilikuwa na, nataka na pesa yangu zilifungwa nataka nikupee ali na hizo pesa zilifunguka nikasema hata sikukumbuki nimepita miaka zipi tatu anasema kwa sababu hiyo roho leo amenikumbusha tu amesema niseme asante nikasema mimi amekaa miaka mingi ni mjinga hata wachana kasawa sawa sawa nilikuwa na simu ya mlika mwisi alipotuma nikasema wacha niangalie papa kuangalia mara yangu ya kwanza 1031 na kanisa yangu ilikuwa inatwanga 1011 nilimpigia simu tena nikasema hello unasema wewe ni nani kwa sababu hii ni mambo tofauti kumbe unasema namna gani ndugu uli sikukumbuki lakini ndugu tunaweza onana tunaweza <laughs> Mungu akanisaidia nikalipa hiyo rent ya kanisa nikaenda nikapewa mjamaa msomo wewe jamaa mwenye nimeipa rent kwa sababu yule nilifanyia ukora nitusi siku hii asubuhi alikufa mpaka saa hii yuko eh alipata ajali alikufa so unajua kere niko pale kwa msiko walikuwa kere na pati kere na pati pati kwa mnono patia lipo alikuwa ananona akuje kuchukua rent alipotuanza hiyo alichanganyikiwa kakonda sijui alipotelea wapi kuna kitabu ya Isaya 45 kisoma inakwambia kwamba na viuno vya adui vyenu vitakonda sasa jamani konda alikonda na kukondeana huyo pati huyo jamaa mwingine hoja ni mtusi sana nikiona hiyo asemaye mapasta nyingi wa kora hata sijui injili yenu ni gani nikamwambia ndugu yangu wewe nipe tu pesa nichukua pesa chukua pesa bali ndio sana mmoja alikonda paka maisha kaenda hata saa hii alipodisappear mwingine alikuwa na ametoa kunywa anaanisha pikipiki kwa hiyo wakati tu aliingia direct kwa trailer unajua aoni matazi napiga saa hii wetu zika tu sawa anatustusi mimi we ndio ukiona mhubiri wacha na hebu ana wacha na wacha ndo na yatembe tu aende usimuonge unge huko nyumba takufu so that was my first day baba kushika 1031 the next time kuna watu wangu baba na wajua 
when in the, time, the next time mara ya pili nilikuwa kwa shida baada mimi kusaidia huduma do you know i sold nilikuwa kwa nyumba nikitaka kulipa rent nyingine nikauza tv kwa nyumba nikatoa paka hasimu kingine kwa nako nikauza pesa hii kutosha tukaenda mimi na pastor titus tukachimba cho ya huyu jamani tu misiko hizo nyumba za misiko hizo hapo juu mimi ndo nilichimba cho ya hapo hiyo cho yenye kwa hapo hiyo septic tank nilichimba mimi na assistant pastor so senior pastor na assistant pastor mmoja anapiga mwingine anavuta mchango Ah Yes so you come on Yes so you what I'm telling you is out of experience and I'm telling you if you do these things you are going to come out of your captivity So I sold everything in the house tukachimba hiyo cho nikamaliza Nilipomaliza hivyo Mungu akaniambia nikasikia kwa roho sisi Mungu akinionyesha ndoto akaniambia nitakupea pesa Sikujua hiyo pesa natoka wapi Hiyo jamaa kijana yangu hiyo ni mtu mwenye kwake kuja hapa hapa ni, ni mzuri ananionaona na 100 mjambo anaanza kuona na 100 akifika baba na kufinyako akitaka kutoka ni 100 so hapo na calculate ama akikuja kuna sukuma ndani kuna hapo mafuta kidogo ka balance hapo kila siku so siku hiyo alipokuja na mbebe yake kanambe papa vile niombe mungu amenifanyia jambo kubwa nikamwambia gani sijui jamaa kaniacha basha akasema ndio angalia baadaye nikawasindikisha kurudi hivi papa the second time jamani leta 150000 ile kwa sasa waishika pesa kama hiyo kwa maisha yangu nilitetemeka kwa hiyo nyumba nikashangaa ndalala wapi majambazi wataingia kwa hiyo nyumba nakimbia huku baba baba nikasema milango kwa sababu majambazi wako nazunguka kwa hiyo maeneo yetu sana nilikuwa naishi pale kwa nyama kwa majambazi Majambazi wako napenda hiyo njia sana. Nikasema hata nani amejua na nikiona kila mtu ananishuku tu. Pastor Silas akanipigia simu ndani akanambia usinione leo siko nimejifungia kwa nyumba tu. Nikaenda nika kitu kaniambia ukitaka usibe. Enda tafuta kinyasa ya jeans. Nikaona kinyasa yenye ya jeans nimekata. Nika nimeifanya dust iko hapo. Nikachukua 150,000 nikaingiza ndani. Nikaiweka mlango. Siku pale kwa bank. Inaweza kuendelea huko. <laughs> Sasa ukikuja kwa nyumba yangu unajipangusia kwa 1150. Yes you go. Kipangusia hapo ndio uingie ndani. Baba, hiyo 150 ilikuwa ufungu wangu wa maisha. Nilipoishika kesho yake asubuhi. Do you know during that time tunafukuzwa. Tutoka kwa hiyo hall. Wananifukuza kwa hall. Hapo nikachukua pesa nikasema nipate wapi? Nikaenda nikapata mtu wa shamba. My first money. Weka pinya tuko hapo nilimpea 150. That was the miracle. Nikapata mtu wa shamba. Now listen to me. Why do I say so? You can never give, you can never invest in God and you die poor. It is impossible. Now listen, I have heard that on Sunday is a Thanksgiving. If you are coming to thank God, come to come and thank God. If and if you're not coming to thank God, kindly wait. Ndio pia pia pastor. Wacha nijipange. Niliambia watu wa kanisa wangu walifanyia mchezo juice Thanksgiving. Angalia basha. Mtu ameandika jina yake ni capital letters na ameandika hapo matatizo sijui ine. Ameweka hapo shilingi 150. Nika nika muita baadaye baada ya service. Mwaka yote matatizo inashinda hii pesa yako <laughs> Hallelujah Now you need to honor the man of God you need to give to the altar you need to service the altar and you need to learn how to pray those are the keys stand on your feet <laughs> Stand on your feet Yo yo ni asking ngine pano mikono yako kabisa juu Are you ready to receive the prophet of God? Yes. Huh? You need to celebrate the man that God has ordained to deliver you. Amen. Just open your mouth wide. Hold your hands wide. And when I say 1 2 3 you will clap and celebrate as the prophet of God comes. Are you are you ready? Are you ready for God? You are ready for deliverance. One, two, three. Let us celebrate Jesus as a bring the prophet of God. Yes! Hallelujah! Yes! Hey, 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 h
your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands. Powerful. Eh, are you blessed? So much. Are you blessed? Oh yes. Are you blessed? So much. Hey, can you appreciate my government brother for it? Yes, sir. Powerful. When you hear someone say covenant, now you know what it means. Oh, yeah. Amen. Before I, I begin to pray, I just want to pray for people now, and then we are going to end our service in a few minutes. This coming Friday, uh, it will be Tarangabi on Friday. Twenty-third. Oh, twenty-third of December. All right, we will be having a worship experience in uh, in Bethesda Church under uh, Pastor Tony. And um, can you clap hands if you you are not jealous? And so I want to take this uh, no opportunity because when I begin when I change this house upside down you'll be living at your own peril and pleasure. So, uh, on Friday, myself, I'll be there and my wife. As Mama said, anytime you have something, so we, on Friday, please come. That, that side will be just be worshiping God. Let's be there in Bethesda Church. Whoever will be there, lift your hand and say amen. Karibuni sana. When I see you, we have to meet there. We'll be there and Pastor uh, Tony will be welcoming us. Shout a powerful amen. You see, when God has means and powerfully like that, the man of God has shared things that are very deep. You know, you are laughing, but I think we're going to come check it, eh? Yes. One day we went to Transoya to pray for a certain family. We were so angry. Me and the apostle. That should be almost seven years ago. Seven, eight, nine years ago. That's so angry. We have not eaten because we don't have anything. Now we are going to, now in that home there, now, I can prepare chicken. So na apostle tukasema Mungu ametuona bana. Sisi ni miaka 10 hawa ngapi mmepita. Tukasikia Mungu ametuonekania. Alafu na roho Mungu anatokea tu kwa kambi. It was in Dalu. Anatokea tu kwa mtu. Na tukaenda kwa bomba. Jai na tumaliza. Na tukao kuona anasema, "Eh, Mungu anasema, hii hii. Hii, msikule kwa hii bomba hii." Kaangalia apostle. Apostle you need one. Kapi apostle, ni mungu ama ni zizienu. Apostle, tulikuwa na mungu ya hata pasata, pasata zaya, kuriye msawasi. Kuriye msawasi. Hei mungu wawasi, kuriye wawasi ndu. We said, ah, let's listen again. And she insisted. And that was the lady whom we have gone to pray for the family members. Out of the, I think the, the one spearheading the safari kumi ni Mombasa. A son of the apostle. A daughter of the apostle. I said, apostle, in the room, mungu ama ni romgani. Na haka insisted to. We say go punish the devil. We, we cannot die. <laughs> we could have died. To get fever to do boy. To remove our mumbo, we took a fur to Kume ni chakula tumekula. Roa naongea. Roa naongea. Nashukuru Mungu kwa mama mama mtu ameongea mambo makubwa sana. Siku moja kuna naenda kesha mtu anavaa hizi unajua hizi viatu zina za za, za plastic. Unaita Eh? Wacha sanda kasa sasa. Hiyo kuweka tu mguu hii. Crocs eh? Siku hizi kuna jana inaitwa Crocs. Hizo days siku ni nani? Boda. Flota. This one is a little bit of 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 a little bit Ferro Limbaya. 
Si wengine tuko tunabeba wallet baba za Safaricom. I don't know if you remember. Hii ya Safaricom inafanya Yeye anatakuwa ni hivi wallet zetu. Wacha tusikuizi roho ya Pharaoh. Tunamwesha muona sisi. Tukapita town. Sikwenda kule. Tukaenda tukaenda Uganda siku moja. Nafika Uganda nikasema hapana bwana. Mimi si hii kitu tu. Nikarono wallet moja. Juli kwa 1500 na 2000. Nikarono ya boss. Kaunya ngambia baba huko hapa. Enda kwa chuko ofisi nikasema baba kwa uchenja boss. Sakola usu za safari kwa mwa. You know the way unaeka pamoja na shika unafanya inatokana. Nasema leo we are delivered to pebe wallet pia sisi wa. Ya ukweli. Mambo mtima amesema ni ya ukweli. Nataka kabla ni kuombea uelewe kwamba hii mambo iko. Na kama utadili nayo utaumia. Sikwenda tukaombea mtu na aposo huyu. Pepo likasema mkichesa na mimi ndakuni hapa. Baba do you remember? We don't see us prophesy today and say we are born today. We you are here. Jesus. We have been around for more than 20 years. Pepo ikasema na iliongea na ongea nitakunya hapa. Wacha rena mimi. Aposa akasema eh unataka kunya? Kunya na uende. Asante. Oya mama wanya bukim. Delivered, healed. Tumbe alikuwa amefura hivi, kadiza pia. Sicheza na roho ya farao wewe. Sijaribu kucheza na roho ya farao. <laughs> ombi nataka tufanye sasa, nataka ufanye ombi na asira. Fanya ombi na asira. <laughs> Baba do you remember mwalimu Jorombeka Kamega? Mwenye alikuwa akikaa staff room anaanza tukunyama. Na ananuka. Na ananuka. Na ananuka. Na ananuka ni mwalimu. Mwalimu ananuka. Ananuka. High school. Na Akiingia tu classroom hivi anaanza kunuka. Akikuwa peke yake kwa sawa. Yake ya kitambo nyinyi. Tambo sana nyinyi. Usituone hivi. Unasema hata vijana wametoka wapi? Wachana na sisi. Hata vijana wanatumia majuju. <coughs> Jesus. Which juju? Do you know why we have suffered? Akasema tukasema huyu jamaa anataka kwani ni mchoko rosi hata no. Kambia boss wewe hali ile horie are you managing? When we pray the man just urinated the spirit went. Listen the spirit of Pharaoh is dangerous. Nataka ufanye ombi moja tu kwa dakika moja. Then anza kuwekea watu mikono katika jina la Yesu. Are you ready to pray? kasopra atusha inua sauti yako sema e hey, yesu yesu mungu wa meja wa mungu wa meja wa kutokea leo kutokea leo kila madabao kila madabao kila roho kila roho ya farao farao inapigana nami inapigana nami pigana na ndoa yangu pigana na ndoa yangu pigana na mali yangu pigana na mali yangu pigana na pesa yangu inapopiga makofi natangaza leo niachilie 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 Achilie. Achilie. Mtu moka 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 moka. Tangaza ita kuachilie. Tangaza ita kuachilie. Tangaza ita kuachilie. Diamando kozika ya halamande yetele rida ya pashe ketera ha. Zebradika ya mande shekete kala ya braba takaya. Tangaza. Tobradia la kata ya mande leria. Zebradika ya handa la bra. La bradia mande ketika ya pa. Le bradia manda ya kata Lerida, no predia, ya taya mande si kala predia, le maya handa, si ya manda la kala predia, so koyo handa, le predia manda, ya patalaria, la katalerida lo kopreda, ya talaria manda ya ka, sele manda ya ha, le machele ya, sele rida, yo koto predia, si ya predia, ya predia, ya predia, ya predia, sa hala mande kele ma, ya predia, la manda kazi kaya hala pala ma, la predia ma,
Fradia Manahala, the Kehala, Fradia, Fala, Yata, Yakate, Fradia Manda, Yakato Colorida, Zala Manaha, Nabra Baba Mande, Leia Hala Lika, Yokoto Mayaha, Leria Mande Kazi Kalapola, Le Fradia Mande Kazia, Le Kate Kala, Le Fradia Mande Yahala, Si Fradika, Ya Fradia, La Taya Maholo Rika, Si Amanda Yaha, Leria Taya.
Jesus, then we pray. Lift your hands for one more prayer. Sema Yesu. Yes. Usiku wa leo. Usiku wa leo. Nina genye kembele zako. Nina kembele zako. Sema Yesu. Yesu. Sema Yesu. Yesu. Mungu wa meja wa. Mungu wa meja wa. Usiku wa leo. Usiku wa leo. Nina genye kembele zako. Nina kembele zako. Kila roya farao. Kila roya farao. Pahali lizika nyota yangu Pahali lizika baraka zangu Na tangaza usiku wa leo Na fufua baraka zangu Na fufua baraka zangu Na rejesha baraka zangu Katika jina la yeso Na rejesha pesa yangu Na rejesha doa yangu Na rejesha afya yangu Na rejesha baraka zangu Na rejesha kila kito Katika maisha yangu Katika Katika jina la yeso Kwa dakika moja unguruma mbena za yeso Tangaza kufufuliwa Kila baraka ziyo zikwa Na roo ya farao Doa yako emezikwa Na roo ya farao Pesa yako emezikwa Na roo ya farao Tangaza kuchimuliwa Tangaza kuchimuliwa Tangaza kuchimuliwa Wacha kuwe na resurrection Katika jina la yeso Kwa dakika moja unguruma Guruma, guruma, guruma. Oma, oma, oma. Mando kuzi katapala. Ye telerida ya manza kaya kala. Ya braya kaze ke telerida. Ya taya handa zia. La ya bando kolubala. Leri ya maza kaya handa. Fradi ya manda ya pa. Leri ya mande pele pala. Ye zia kalarika. Yo bradi ya bala bala. Le braya kanda ya kalarida. Zola maya. Zolo maya kala pradida. Ya mara kira bala. Leri ya maza. Leketelezia, zila ria mondo kuhala Leketekezicha, lachala pradia Nosoko no pradika, ya daya hala pala Le pradia mazeke lebra, le pala pala Le zia kaya, zekelezia Kolo pradia, zakaya handa Zeketele ha, le prahaya Zekete kaya pa, le pradia Na hata kaze ketele ria No praya manda, ya kaya manda Yo pala paya eke
la manda kaya kala kanda solo rida ya kande kele pa le dia mando kozoko yo pa le kete kele rida yo mola mande le pa la le pia mande si flani kaya kanda yo pa le pradia manda ya mala kaya mazo kotolo handa le ria mande kezia la kaya pa la rika ta pa ya rika to kolo pa I saw a drink. I saw a drink. I don't know. I saw I saw a drink. You know. Things to do with the like soft drinks. I don't know soda or what is this? I don't know if you understand anything about that. Good person. I saw a drink. I was wondering what this. You know. I saw no the things to do with soda 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 some good god deeper are you are you are you a degree holder or a diploma holder no i'm just a form for you have not joined to the college yet yes asuza neto la basula professor professor because i saw a connection in a company of drinks oh Sorry. I uh, I had worked at Coca-Cola. Okay. Oh yes. Can I do something just for one minute and then we pray in the name of Jesus? Please do it, sir. Because I was wondering what is You say you come from Kisumu? Yes. When I take Kisumu and I add boys, what comes to your mind? Kisumu boys. Kisumu boys. Do you know anything about Kisumu boys? Uh we stay around there. Stay around the Kisumu boys. Yes, yes. Wow, wow. God of Major One is opening a door for you, sir. I receive. I saw passion to do with children. I don't know why, but I saw passion with something to do with children. Yes, I love children, and uh, I want to open a foundation for children. Wow, wow. That's powerful. Can I prophesy for? Prophesy, son of Major. You see. When it is, oh my God, Shupra Adusha, that one is established, sir. Already, God of your father, Major One, has wow. released. I because saw. I saw a white man, right? Yes. I saw a white man. I saw a connection. Come and go. Come and go. But God said it is coming to stay. I, I saw the donors are coming I to know. support you for this foundation. I 
powerful. Somebody shout and connect. I <laughs> give me all. Come here, sir. Move three steps. Supra Adusha Kala. Do you love football, sir? Yes. Love football? Yes, yes. <laughs> because I saw your leg. Pew, pew, pew. Messi, 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 Messi. Pew, pew. It's like, what's this? Professor. <laughs> Sir, there is an anointing of speed that God of Major One have released in your life. I receive. This I foundation receive. is already established. I receive. Marush Efra Tula Kesula. By any chance, just a question. Do you know somebody by the name? This is a. This is a. Um, Tanui. Tanui. This Tanui has a close relationship with. The, Somebody called Chebet. Uh, I had a fiancé called Chebet. Wow. Wow. Okay. But you, you, pew, yes. separated. Yes. Are you dating now? Yes. Oh, but you're not married now. You're just dating. I'm just dating. Give me okay. direction. Okay. That time when I look at him and I see the room of the spirit and I begin to see names and then I saw a name, Evelyn. I had a name called Evelyn. No, I was looking at Evelyn and was wondering, what's, what's, why is God taking me to Evelyn? Then I see this athlete, uh, this lady who runs too much. It's called who? This uh, Kalentin athlete who runs. The police one. It's called who? Is it Cheli? Cheli? Is it Cheli? Chelimo? Is it Chelimo? I read who runs? Who runs? Hey, members! Is it Chelimo? Are you here? You went home. <laughs> oh my God! And God spoke to me because I saw a connection. The issue of the foundation is established. Sir. Then I saw a connection with mm. the. With people, you know, uh, there is a team of people oh, who yes. are athletes. Mm. And I saw a connection of these people wanting you to help them mm. in something. Mm. Sir, your destiny is opening from that place. I oh, see. yes, I connect. I see. Prophesy, son of major. Because go, as deeper, I'm, go deeper. Because as I'm speaking like oh, this, yes. I saw a door open mm. and I saw you entering that room. Mm. Then I saw God begin to unfold things, unfold oh, yes. things, unfold mm. things. Mm. Then I saw you, I saw you in a house. Mm. I don't know. I saw you in a house. But mm. again, as I was looking at you, mm. I didn't see people who are elders close to you. People who are elders close to you. So I was wondering, what's God communicating here? Mm. Then I was looking at your parents. I was looking at your parents. I don't know what's this, but I was looking at your parents. Mm. Then as I was looking at you standing, Mm. Then I didn't see one of your parents. They separated. Prophesy. You're right in your office, son of major. Prophesy. Sir, that spirit has been attacking. Let me finish because of time. Mm. That spirit has been attacking your relationship, sir. Because anytime you begin to enter a serious relationship, something will happen. Yes. Even the lady you are dating right now, yes. you, you are not comfortable in that relationship. It's true. Eh? You have been thinking... She is, can it be like this lady is like the other ones? So you are thinking direction. of maybe because sometimes you just sit like this, you feel like you don't have feelings for that woman. It's true, it's true. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give direction, son of major. As I'm laying my hand upon you, sir, mm. God of your father, major one, is opening your life today. Oh, yeah. As I speak right now, in mm. the next 24 days, oh, yeah. you shall touch a testimony. I Receive it in Jesus' name. Power. Somebody shout fire. Fire. Yeah. Sir, come. I spoke to you, and God of Major just told me to speak to you. I wanted to go and make a prayer. And God said, God of Major said I should speak to you and and finish what I start, I started telling you when I was in Elorit. Oh. It's a time that God wants to use you. Amen. You said you're going back to that branch, but you might not be there for long, but this grace will plant you. Amen. This grace of God, your father made you one will plant. Because I saw you standing on the platform and ministering to people. Yes. And we have been having a spirit of fear, mm. you know, of breaking forth. Very true. There is a lot of fear of uncertainties.
Preto. Today God has lifted that fear. Number I 1. See, see. Number 2. Yes. Sir, your foundation has a problem. Preto. Because I saw a shrine. I saw a shrine in your in your home, not yes. your house, your home where you come from. Yes. I saw a shrine. Yes. This is to do with tradition. Yeah? Yes. This would do, I saw people putting on these things of uh, you know the way people put on traditional clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. I saw an elder putting on those clothes. When you're standing like this, I saw an elder behind you putting on those clothes. And the God of Major spoke to me and said, I should deliver you today from a foundational spirit. Because if I don't set you free today, yes. that altar will never set you free to go and serve God. You must serve the altar of your forefathers. Do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> Today, sir. Yes. This oil. Kneel yes. here. Give me oil. Just give me. Masura pasuda la kaladosha. Wherever you are, lift your hand and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. As I'm leaving this place. As I'm leaving this place. I'm living with my miracle. I am living with my miracle. In the miracle. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I anoint you today. Oh, yes. I break every yoke. Every chain in your life. Break in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every spirit of fear, I command you, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Set you free. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus if you can. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Where is my brother? My brother, come. come. Apostle, come. I was looking at uh, our brother here. Please just come, Apostle. And God said, there is something in us that will open the life of our brother. Amen. I might not deserve to prophesy to you. You went before me in the ministry. But I'm just speaking what God says. And that's why I called you. And God said we should embrace our brother and pray for him. And this spirit of rotating the same place shall leave him. Amen. This man is our brother. Very soon, you people, you witness this, and media people get a good photo of this one. Very soon, sir, God is going to raise you a ministry. Amen. I see an anointing in this man that people will be flying to come for deliverance and healing. And God is giving you grace, sir, that you're going to speak to nations, empowering people on the things of the Spirit. Amen. Teaching and empowering people on the things of the Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One of God, come. Masupra Adusha Kaladia Sikota Sula. Shem is lifted. 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 The name of Jesus. Carlos Kapa Dariskebe Teskaba. Thank you, Jesus. You are releasing a new level. Yes, Lord. You're releasing a new anointing. Yes, Lord. You are destroying altars, breaking any evil foundation. Yes. And you are raising him the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We release you as our brother. The grace that have lifted shame in our lives. Let it be your grace. May our God be your God. No power shall counter what God has spoken today. Go and bring our testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap hands for that person. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I am, I am going to pray for people right now. Mika, how's your wife? She's okay now. the Lord say it is your time sir to for a turn around spirit of wallowing 
<laughs> Come out, Jesus name. Masura basura. Masaninda. Hallelujah. Now, please prepare your offering. You are sitting on your tithe. Then I'm going to do massive deliverances as we leave. Prepare your offering. If you have your offering, please quickly. We are giving. Then we come on a line. I pray. I anoint you. And the spirit of Pharaoh will never come back in your life. New beginning. New beginning. New beginning. Doors have opened. Employment for your wife. Take it. Jesus' name. Masura Natusha. People here, lift your hands. All of you. Thank you, Father. Silebo Salalisha. Eh, eh, eh. When you began to to minister on this altar, I hear the Lord of Major One say, "Your time has come. You have not seen joy for some time, but the joy of the Lord has come today. The name of Jesus. By this grace, every spirit of Pharaoh." That has been hindering your life, lowering your speed. I arrest you. I arrest you. Come out! In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, all of you. I declare deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Pack it! Jesus' name. Pack! Pack it! Mighty name of Jesus. Pack it! Be set free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lift your offering, your seat on your tithe quickly because of time. Then I want to do a massive deliverance in the presence of God in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for your sons and daughters as they pay their tithe, give their seed. May you increase them, multiply them. May every seed and spirit of Pharaoh never locate them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please just come and drop it here. Then ushers help us remove the seeds. I want to pray in the name of Jesus. Please just come. Drop on the altar quickly, quickly, quickly. Then we want to pray for 10 minutes. We are out of this place. In the name of Jesus. Judah, you can give us a worship please quickly in the name of Jesus. God bless you. 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 God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Zi paradosh kifra atazuza kito salusha free hetania. Ziza katush kefra antazuza kela dosha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Please let's do the necessary uh, hostesses and protocols. Please put people online here quickly, as we normally do, quickly so that I can pray and release people. 3 a.m. She'll find us on the way going to rest for the services and other things tomorrow. Remember, if you want to go for crossover, please register yourself as quick as possible because the truck is almost full. And um, oh, this Sunday service, don't miss because God of Major One has something powerful and fantastic for you as we handle, you know, serious matters in the spirit. Don't miss as we'll be doing Thanksgiving don't miss because something will be taking place in your life in Jesus' name. As you come on this line, just lift your hands and begin to prepare yourself in the realms of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I'm coming to pray for you, this is an anointing that is setting you free from every demon of Pharaoh. It is setting you free in the name of Jesus. Do a spiritual preparation in your life in the name of Jesus. Let you know be just be laying of hands, but let it be laying your hands with revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. Zipra Adusha Kaladia Sofra Dusha Keto Zazuza Lika Zuza Kidushka Fra Atazia. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. 